Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on column vectors. Uh, so first of all, what's a vector? Uh, well, a vector is a quantity that has both a magnitude, uh, so a magnitude is a size, and a direction. Uh, so on a diagram, we would express this as an arrow. Uh, so the arrow tells us what direction, and the length of the arrow uh, tells us the size. Now a column vector uh, is essentially where we split the vector into its two components. So here you can see uh, that the vector has uh, a component of 3 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction. Uh, so in order to write this as a column vector we would write this as 3, 2. Uh, so we put the x on the top and we put the y on the bottom and that's about all there is to it. Uh, so let's have a look at another skill now. So if we want to add or subtract column vectors, so say we have a, b plus C, D, uh, then quite simply we just add the X and the Y components separately. Uh, so the column vector then becomes A plus C, B plus D. Uh, so for example, if we have the vectors negative 3, 4, and 5, 2, uh, then that would become negative 3 plus 5, 4 plus 2, uh, which is equal to 2, 6. Uh, similarly, if we wanted to subtract vectors, uh, so we'll use another example now. So if we had 6, 3, minus 2, 1, uh, then we once again just subtract the x and the y components separately. Uh, so that would become 4, 2. So the final skill then is multiplying column vectors by a number. Uh, so this generates a scalar multiple of the vector. Uh, so if we have a number a and the vector x, y, uh, then the new vector becomes ax, ay. So for example, uh, if a was 5 and we had the vector 2, negative 3, uh, then the new vector would be 5 times 2 and 5 times negative 3, uh, which we could write as 10, negative 15. So let's take a look at an example question now. So a is the vector 3, 8 and b is the vector negative 7, 2 write 2a plus b as a column vector. Uh, so we'll do this step by step. So if a is 3, 8, then 2a is 2 times 3, 2 times 8, which is equal to 6, 16. Okay, uh, so if we want to do 2a plus b then, uh, then we have our vector 2a, 6, 16, plus b, which is negative 7, 2, uh, so if we add negative 7 to 6, we get negative 1. And if we add 2 to 16, we get 18. So the vector 2a plus b equals negative 1, 18. If you want to get some more practice with column vectors, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll see loads of different questions that you can have a practice with. And you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can track your progress and find out where you went wrong. And if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight over there.